Before the end of the night I want to hold you so tight You know I want you so much And I'm so tempted to touch Tempted to touch, tempted to touch A little woman, I'm gonna need you so much Tempted to touch, tempted to touch Hey guys, welcome back to my channel so, quick one I want to do, quick one I want to do, quick one I want to do, quick one I want to do. And this is one, this one's from a, from a ladies, ladies specifically, specifically. Man, yes, sure, cool. But ladies specifically, specifically. So, you want to grow your glutes. You want to grow your, your butt. You want to grow your cheeks. You want to, you want to grow them bubble gums. You want to have them bubble, 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 brr, bubble, bubble, So... Quick tip to grow your glutes, ladies, and to grow it sooner than later, <clears throat> to grow it rather than losing it. Your glutes are, your glutes is, glutes are, your glutes is one of the biggest muscles, is basically the biggest muscle in your body. And <clears throat> as with big muscles, as with big uh, responsibilities, as with, as with, As with big responsibilities, it requires more than what small require small responsibilities require. Okay, so when it comes to training your glutes, ladies, ladies, please for heaven's sake, this is not bad. It's not bad to do hit, ladies. It's not. It's great actually. Because it helps you to burn them calories, to help condition your heart. Conditioning your heart, your heart is functioning very well. It translates to you having a better cardiovascular system, better cardio, right? So HIT is great for that. But I, there's a lot of women, females, who prioritize um, cardio overweight training and they're trying to improve their glutes uh they're trying to get it to pop they're trying to get that pop cardio hit cardio is not the best thing the only thing necessarily hit cardio that would really hit your glutes is if you're doing hill sprints stairs like sprinting um yes some hit cardio exercises does contribute to the conditioning of your glutes overall because you do want to have the development of um you do want to have the development of those fast twitch muscle fibers in your glutes and also those slow twitch muscle fibers in your glutes so it is it is important but for the purpose of actually growing your glutes you do want to prioritize weight training do not get me wrong do not take out high intensity cardio exercises out your program what i need you to do or what i recommend or my tip to you or if i were you what i would do which i'm already doing which is why my ass keeps going is <clears throat> you prioritize training your glutes with heavy ass weights yes heavy ass weights is relative heavy is relative to each person of course it's not the point <clears throat> the point is i've dealt with too many females who kept telling me oh they want to grow their glutes yet when i put heavy weight on the bar and they're able to do the exercise properly for at least three reps um it's a situation where they don't really want to do it or they don't think three reps reps is effective it is effective if you're executing the exercise with proper form and the weight is heavy and you're getting three reps it is effective and if the right person is tailoring your program and they know really know what they're doing it is effective think about the sprinters that you see on the tv with 
their plumped asses, their plumped hamstrings and their plumped quads. How do you think they get those? By doing exactly what I just said. Three reps is not a bad thing. It, it helps with strength and it helps with um, power. So those fast twitch muscle fibers, those one that those muscles that normally look make you look, I'm not gonna say make you look toned, but it gives that it gives it gives that little popping look of your body is is kind of how you get those. Like yes, you can do more than three reps to get that. Like hypertrophy is normally anywhere from um, if I remember correctly, correctly, it's like three to six reps six reps normally is like the baseline for hypertrophy when you're doing you know weight training to, to get that pump so have you ever realized like you'd set out to do a set of 12 reps but when you hit like six seven eight you feel that muscle really looking like it's about to pop that's kind of what i'm talking about so ain't nothing wrong with you doing 12 reps but if you're gonna continuously Go to the gym, use the same weight to do 12 reps. And you can literally add 25, 50 more pounds to the same, to that weight and still be able, and, 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 and you're able to get six reps out of it. You're wasting time. You do not have to be an athlete. But one thing you have in common with athletes is you're trying to get stronger, more powerful, and a better shaped butt and so you got to take a page out of their book i mean i use it as a reference because it's kind of one of the closest things that i can use to compare this to you for you <clears throat> so you do want to focus on heavier weights and you do want to train your glutes more often um i would recommend at least twice a week but if i were you like I can, like what mostly what I do is three times a week. You got to train it. You got to hit it. You got to pop, 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 pop. You know what I mean? You got to pop, pop, pop. You got to train it. You have to. You have to train it. You have to train it with heavy weights. Whatever exercise you're doing, if you realize that you're doing a glute exercise and the weight feels light, you're not feeling a lot of pressure, on the hamstring and that glutes, you're doing yourself a disservice. You wanna up your weight. Even if you're gonna do three reps, say split squats. Say split squats. Even if you're gonna do three reps of split squats, find with a heavy weight. Focus, focus, focus. After you focus, you hold that weight. You hold that weight and your form, try to do the best form you can with for those three reps. Hit it, controlled, controlled down, explode up as fast as you can. Just, 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 just try to put a lot of effort into it. Control down and pop up. Control down. If you do that for say four sets. And oftentimes you can do six sets, but if you said the weight is too heavy and you can't, but you can decrease the weight, but still use the same technique. Three reps each leg for sets consistently for a few weeks, months, you have to see changes. Well, if you're also fueling yourself properly, you, you definitely will, but you have to add weight to your roots. You have to add weights to your glutes. Women, you have to add weights to your glutes. Jump squats, jump lounges, they're, they're good for helping to get that hypertrophic, to get a little pump, but they're not going to be enough for you to shape your glutes. Yes, you can do heavy squats, heavy deadlifts, heavy split lunges, split squats, and then do jump squats and, and jump lunges and it will be effective yes pair them together yes but if you're gonna depend solely on doing lunges and like body weight lunges and stuff like that you're not gonna you're gonna you're gonna lose those muscles in your butt 
because those muscles in your butt needs to be challenged and doing a simple jump squat and a simple jump lunge ain't going to challenge you as much your body's going to get used to that plus a lot of the times you start to work out the weight that is you know i'm gonna save this for another video remember to please like share and subscribe i'm gonna make a different video for this part